Hi there, welcome to this calculus tutorial. Today we're going to solve that problem shown. Now, say for instance, the instructions told us to solve or evaluate the integral using partial fractions. Well, what we want to do is follow that table that I have over there on the right and separate this into multiple different fractions that are easier to integrate and do them each individually. So what this looks like is I go off to the side and I do kind of some extra legwork. So in this case, I'm going to split this fraction up according to what I have over there in my table on the right. So it looks like I have some factors that look sort of like the form, uh, let's see, it looks like I have this guy here. I have x minus a squared and an x minus b. So I'm gonna follow this general format when I plug it in to my partial fractions. And I'm trying to find my a, b, and c here. So I have x plus one is my first fraction. I have b over x plus one squared is my second fraction. And then c over x plus two as my third fraction. Now, I need to find a common denominator among these. So what I need to do is I need to multiply this by x plus one and x plus two on both top and bottom. I need to multiply this by x plus two on both top and bottom. And I need to multiply this by x plus one squared. And when I do that, then I will have a common denominator and I'm able to then add these. So once I do that, I end up with the left side staying the same. And then on the right side, I can write this all over my common denominator. So I have my x plus one, my x plus two, my b times the x plus two, and then my c times that x plus one squared, all over that common denominator. Now, if you notice, our denominators now are the same. So those cancel out. And I can go ahead and I can foil this out, foil this out, and then distribute. So now I do a little bit more, I can go ahead and I can distribute each of these through. And when I do that, I end up getting ax squared plus 3ax plus 2a plus bx plus 2b plus cx squared plus 2cx plus c. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I go through and I group like terms. So again, the left side just hangs out. I end up with a plus c x squared. That takes care, care of my x squared terms. I end up with 3a plus b plus 2c x. That takes care of my x terms. And lastly, I have 2a plus 2b plus c. That takes care of just my number terms. All right, so now we can set up a system of equations. So I go ahead and I compare my x terms. Well, the coefficient here is 1, so I can set 1 equal to a plus c. My coefficient on the x term is also 1, so I can set 1 equal to 3a plus b plus 2c. And then my number term was also a 1, so I can set the 2a plus 2b plus c also equal to one. So then I can go ahead and I can start solving this system of equations. And I like to do it with substitution. So when I go over here and I can plug this in, I end up getting three, one minus plus b plus two c. Now you may have chosen a different way to solve this system of equations and that's completely fine. As long as you get your values for a, b, and c, we should be good to go. And then this side turns into 2 minus 2c. And then I can go ahead and I can combine. So if I move that 3 over, I get negative 2 equals b minus c. 
and over here I get negative 1 equals 2b minus c. When I rearrange this, I can plug it in here, and I end up getting c equals 3 when I solve that. So that's my c. I come back in here and I plug that in, I get b equals 1. And then I plug the 3 into here and I get a equals negative 2. So now I can go back and I can rewrite this as an integral. So that was all my extra step. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rewrite this integral. So I have the integral now. I plug in my a, so I have negative 2 over x plus 1, and I'm pulling from this expanded version before I did anything with the common denominators. My b is 1, so that guy looks like this. Whoops, the square goes on the outside. Be careful of that. And then I have my c, which was 3, over x plus 2. So now I can do the integral of each of these separately. So I end up with negative 2 ln of x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 plus 3 ln of x plus 2, evaluated from 0 to 1. And when I plug all that in, I end up getting, let's see, negative 2 ln of 2 minus 1 half plus 3 ln of 3. I'm um, running out of room, so I'm going to write this down here. 2 ln of 1 minus 1 plus 3 ln of 2. And when I combine the like terms, I end up getting 1 half minus 5 ln of 2 plus 3 ln of 3. And that, my friends, is our final answer solving this integral using partial fractions. I hope this helps. Good luck when you're trying some problems like this on your own. They're long, but they're kind of fun.